Hi there, I'm Joyce Arditi, Professor of Human Development and Family Studies in the Department of Human Development at Virginia Tech. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about my research interests. I currently do most of my work in the area of parental incarceration and just finished a book on that topic called Parental Incarceration in the Family. And I've long been preoccupied with issues around social justice and studying marginalized populations. I also have always been interested in family disruption and parent-child relationships. And I turned my attention to the issue of parental incarceration in the mid-90s. What led me to this is I had a very close uh, friend who was in the federal system on a nonviolent drug charge. And based on that experience with my friend, I ended up visiting him at the facilities in which he was held. And that experience transformed me as a researcher and as a person, I would have to say, because I basically entered into a hidden pocket of experience. And, and I've long been interested in families on the margin, kind of invisible families, and what really struck me about visiting in these facilities, first of all, is I was treated very differently than I was used to being treated, and second of all, was all the families that were there, all the children that were there dressed up in their Sunday best, and the impact that the family members incarceration had on the non-incarcerated families. I don't know if I would have recognized this as early as I did in the mid-90s as a huge social issue. Um, it is emerging now as um, an area of research, but historically, you know, prison criminal justice has been studied within criminology and a family lens was not utilized and so I think you know what I have done is brought a family lens to the study of um, incarceration it, with particular emphasis on how uh, a parent's incarceration impacts um, the non-incarcerated family members one of the contributions that I make in my book is really taking a look theoretically at you know what the issues are and use, utilizing a family perspective parenting becomes very important not just the parenting that children receive from caregivers but also whatever you know implications there are based on changes that have occurred as a result of the family members incarceration. So currently, uh, you know, it's become an area in the research now that we're finally seeing it in family studies because the United States has the highest incarceration rate in the world. And the economy now is driving some change there and that some states we've seen a slowing of incarceration, but certainly not at the federal level. Most of this is due to um, the drug war in terms of, you know, criminalizing broad classes of people. And social inequality is, is a very important aspect of the issue of criminal justice and families because there are disproportionate numbers of African American families that are affected by uh, mass incarceration. A growing group that is increasingly being affected are Latinos. In any case, about 17, 1, 1, 700, 000 children have a parent who is incarcerated. One in three African American men are either incarcerated or under the supervision of the criminal justice system. So this is a huge issue and it is also, parental incarceration is also a feature of cumulative disadvantage for many, many families. So you've got issues around poverty, substance abuse, uh, other types of family dysfunction or family challenges such as violence in the family. And so those are all issues when, when you study uh, criminal justice and families. So, you know, I would say that families impacted by criminal justice are pretty much some of the most vulnerable families in the country. 
I would say incarcerated mothers are the most vulnerable women in society. And I would say that something has got to change in order to deal with this because prisoners, by and large, the majority of them are released into society. They are not prepared to function outside of the prison walls. They have uh, dreams of reunifying with children and it is just basically a revolving door because of the many, many challenges that um, ex-prisoners face in our society. This has implications for children. We can't pretend that it doesn't anymore. Uh, you see evidence of intergenerational patterns of incarceration and substance use. Often those go hand in hand. We also see disproportionate numbers of the mentally ill in our nation's prisons. And again, these are not just isolated people. These are people with families, families that send them money, families that visit, families that suffer. Uh, there are cases, of course, where it's better for the family if a certain member of the family is incarcerated, particularly in uh, context of family violence. But all in all, um, the context of parental incarceration in our country is something that uh, is being increasingly researched. Some of my current work right now that I'm excited about is I'm looking at child trauma symptomology in families, in single parent families, uh, and half of my sample, there's been a parent who's incarcerating the other half. There's a, they're single parents for other reasons, and I have found evidence of greater child trauma symptomology among those families that have been impacted by incarceration. We don't know a lot about family processes. Uh, most of the data that we have about incarcerated populations is, uh, you know, huge data sets that have very little in the way of, you know, parenting processes, family contact processes, uh, co-parenting, things that have bearing on family well-being and offender adjustment. And so some of the research that I'm doing and, and I write a, to a great extent in my book about is about those family processes because to me that's what it means to take a family perspective.